And we're back, Adventure Blur here, with the third review of the Sonic comics. This episode is a little special in the fact that it is the first issue featuring new characters for the series, Rough and Tumble. Like the first two videos, I'll be starting this review off spoiler free. So, let's get started. So far, IDW has done an amazing job with the Sonic series, and issue 3 continues to make it better. My previous problems with the first two issues being mostly action are gone in issue 3. Issue 3 balances story, humor, and action perfectly, making this one of the best stories in the Sonic series in a while, topping issue 2 easily. Knuckles was given a personality more akin to the adventure games in this issue, which was a great choice, and seeing him and Sonic work together and make remarks about each other was a treat to read. Rough and Tumble were also a great change of pace when it comes to villains. After years of enemies like Infinite, Chaos, Shadow, and Metal Sonic, it was nice to have enemies that were more mercenaries than actual monsters. They honestly reminded me of Team Rocket from the Pokemon TV show, and they even had a motto. With how rough and tumble were, I wouldn't be surprised if this was intentional and they're actually nods to Team Rocket. Which I would love, I think that would be amazing. I'm about to go over some of the spoilers from the issue. If you want to skip to the end, just head to the time shown on the screen. This issue covered the Wisp quite a bit. And I'll be honest, it made me enjoy a story that mostly revolved around them. I never liked the Wisps that much, so this issue doing that is saying something. They did a really good job of making their story make sense and forces, which is pretty good considering they went from being sentient beings and colors to just power-ups and lost world and forces. I also really enjoyed the references to the previous games and comics in this issue. In particular, the Hooligans reference. For those who don't know, the Hooligans were a team from the original Archie Sonic comics, consisting of Bean the Dynamite, Bark the Polar Bear, and Knack the Weasel. It was nice and surprising to see a reference to the old comics in this issue, and I kind of wonder what we'll see next. There was also another good nod to Colors, where Sonic and the Whips high-five each other, which is the exact same thing that happened in the intro to the game. Anyways. It seems like whoever's controlling Eggman's army is going after the Master Emerald, and I am so glad this is happening. I mean, Knuckles never guards it anymore. You would think that someone would have stolen it by now. So whoever's controlling the army, good job. Thank you for paying attention. The best part of this issue was definitely the end fight though. It was perfect in all regards. It was creative, funny, and an overall blast to read. And I'll be honest, I didn't realize the Rough and Tumble were skunks until that fight. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. I really enjoyed Rough and Tumble as villains, and I hope we see them again soon. They may be in prison now, but I really would be shocked if they don't break out soon. I give this issue a 9.5 out of 10. It was great. Knuckles was handled well, the references were all over the place without feeling forced, like that reference, and the newest enemies to the series are great. This series has been phenomenal so far, and will definitely be one of the best parts of the Sonic series if it keeps this trend going. Next week, I'll be going over issue 4, which will be really cool for two reasons. 1. Tangle's first appearance. And 2. Blaze the Cat is finally back. Blaze is one of my all-time favorite video game characters, so I'm hyped to see her and her story continue again. It's been years since we last saw her, so I'm really excited to see what her character has been up to. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, check out some of my other videos. Like I do want on what games to play for reading the comics, and even if you already are completely caught up on the comics, I'm sure you'll find my choices helpful and really fun to play. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, if not better content. And like as well. Comment below what your favorite part of the comic was. And as always, this is Adventure Blur, and I will see you next time. So, sayonara.